On the next rainy day, pull out this playhouse to give yourself a whole new outlook. This is a fun thing you can put together yourself. It's super fun, and what makes it extra fun is you can build curtains for it, you can add your handprints, you can collage whatever you want on the inside. Super fun. Definitely, and it's also two pieces of board that have three, so th two trifold boards put together. Yeah, and you can fold it all up when you're done playing inside. Stash it away under the bed or under the couch. Mm -hmm. You could also use just a two-sided board if you wanted to make a play tent. So I love the idea that this could be made in a lot of different sizes too. You can make it big enough for yourself or for your dolls or stuffed animals. I think it's great. So you start out with your trifold board, and like we said, these come in different sizes, so you can use a small one, medium, large, big as you want. And then you need some poster board and some decorative mesh for the curtains. You'll need some paint pens, some pom-poms, some glue spots, and glue that's good for paper to paper. Right. So I think we're ready to get started. Okay, let's cover this fort. Let's cover it up. So you'll cut some poster board that fits on the outside of your board. And you'll have some strips left over too. So save those because we're going to use them to decorate the inside of the fort. So get your glue all the way around the edges and across and squiggle so that you can press this down. And I'm using the wide end of the glue so that it gets a lot of coverage there. And fast. And very that fast. fast. Yeah, you could do this quick rainy day project. I love those. You've got to have these ready to go, right? Mm -hmm. Then glue your other one down. And you just want to cover the outside of your board because then the inside we're going to decorate. So we'll do that. Great neon colors, too. Yeah, and you can make it in any color. Mm -hmm. So then on the inside, take your strips and start placing them around. And you can make stripes. You can do them on the diagonal. These are all the leftovers. And this is a great project for some scrap paper, too. Can you hand me that marker while you? Sure. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. And you can trim these to fit over the edges, too, if you want them to do this. You could trim it. And then. How about some hand prints? You can draw, since this is hands on. How many fingers do I have? There's my five one. And you could draw some little fingernails. But don't these kind of look like arms, Katie? Yeah, definitely. You could also trace your hand Ooh. for using the big size board. There Does it go. tickle? <laughs> you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think I wrote on you there. It's OK. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. No problem. There we go. Yeah. So you could just keep doodling and collaging your board however you like. It's going to be great. These paint pens are awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Make sure that you make two. So you have two that are going to fit together. Like so. All right. OK. So the next thing you want to do is create the curtain so that you can um, kind of give it that real tent feel. So I've gone ahead and cut some strips of mesh. And the size that you need depends on how big your tent is. So this stuff cuts super easy. You can cut um, it as long as the door is on the front of your tent. All right, so you would just want to measure and see how you know how many strips you want to do across and how long. Right. I like the way that we did it on the big tent too because they reach down to the floor. Right. And kind of have the secret I don't secret spot to hide out in there. Right. And then I've just kind of woven these onto a really thick but soft wire. Yeah, this kind of wire is really easy to bend with your hands. Right. And then now I'm just sticking some glue dots onto my pom-poms, and then I'm going to put them at the end of each curtain. And you can see on our finished one, I really trimmed those curtains out. Yes, you did. They look great. Fancy. I love pom-pom fringe, definitely. Me too. And so you also could make a pattern here with your pom-poms. Right. That's right. You can do blue, I'm... yellow, green, match your paper, or you could do all the different colors. Right. Let's put it together. OK. So I'm going to, while you set that up, I'm going to finish the end of the wire with a curve or a spiral so that all of our curtain pieces don't fall off. And then I'm going to trim it. And you can make your spiral as big or as little as you want. And you're kind of, the spiral is to hold the curtain onto the board like a paper clip. Right, and I'll just show you how that adheres to the front of our tent. You kind of have to measure how long you want your wire to go, but this piece will just pop out in front and I'll hold that. Here's some wire cutters. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. You read my mind. Mm -hmm. We can spiral this one, too. This is coming together. Sure is. I think it would be fun to use this also for a puppet theater. Yeah. 
My dog Rocky would like hiding out in here. There you go. He always finds cute small spaces to hide space. into. Oh, you could decorate this for your pet. Oh, yes. That would be fun. And then just slide go. these over, slide them closed. You can do a puppet show. You can put your stuffed animals in here. It's definitely fun. Action figures. <laughs> it could go on and on. Sure could. You could add some more curtains here, too, if you wanted to. Yes, I think we need one more. I, I thought I didn't need this one, but we could have used it. Yeah. This wire is so soft, though, it's easy to unbend it and yeah. put it on. OK, let's show how we can fold this up, because these two boards aren't attached in the back. OK. We can just take this off, put this away, and then it folds flat. And Voila. you're ready to under the bed play another day. <laughs> Let's take one more look at the finished playhouse. I love it. It's so cute.